Now, there are no plans to alter the programme for government here at Stormont, although it has been a big issue for discussion. It's a different story in Dublin, though, where the Taoiseach, Brian Cowan, has said his government's programme for government will be reviewed after the local and European elections. His comments come after a weekend of intense speculation about the future of the Fianna Fáil Green Coalition. With the latest, we're joined by our Dublin correspondent, Shane Harrison. Shane, um, we've had this speculation over the weekend, of course, prompted initially by the terrible poll showings uh, for uh, the government at the moment, and it seems like the Greens, their partners in government, are getting the jitters. Indeed, that is the case, Jim. You have to remember that the Republic, a bit like Northern Ireland, is going to the polls on Friday, June the 5th in the European elections. But there are also local elections here across all 26 counties and indeed two by-elections, one in Dublin South and the other in Dublin Central, where Bertie O'Hearn's brother is standing and hopes to join Bertie O'Hearn in the current Doyle. Now, as you mentioned, there are very, very, very bad opinion polls for both Fianna Foyle and indeed for the Green Party. The polls are consistent that Fianna Fáil, which normally gets around 40% of the vote, is somewhere down between 20 and 25%, depending on the poll. And the Greens aren't doing too well either. And over the weekend, Dan, Dan Boyle, who is the Greens chairman and who is standing in the South constituency, he indicated that there should really be a, a coming together of the two political parties, the two political parties in coal, coalition, and to decide whether or not they should renegotiate their, their programme for government. Over the weekend, Brian Cowan, the Taoiseach, did indicate that he was prepared to do so. But this is being seen by some people as, is it the first step in the Greens wanting to get out of the coalition government? No, say the Green uh, ministers, and no, indeed, say their spokesman. But if the Greens were eventually to leave the, leave the government at a time when the government is incredibly unpopular, one poll suggested that only 10% of the people were satisfied with the government's performance, then this is, would be the first step that they would take in so doing. Now, we've seen this before, I suppose, with uh, coalition government that the minority party can exert considerable influence over the big party because it kind of holds the balance of power there. Uh, is this simply then the Greens flexing their muscles as well as maybe sending smoke signals to the electorate, don't blame us? Well, it does have to be seen in the context that there are elections going on and the Greens want to differentiate themselves from Fianna Foyle and they want to emphasise the fact that they are a slightly different party. Now, Dan Boyle has said that the Green Party is very satisfied with what it's got out of the programme for government so far, that most of its policies have already been implemented. Now, against that, you have to always bear in mind that whenever there are two coalition partners, two years, three years into the, into the term of the coalition government, there normally is a review and that's the spin that the Fianna Fáil party is putting on this particular event at the moment. So not a climb down because here in Stormont the big issue about reviewing the programme for government from uh, the lead parties has been there's no need to and it's almost as if to uh, acknowledge some sort of review would be an acknowledgement of uh, you know failure. Well, there is a slight difference between Northern Ireland and the Republic on this. The Republic um, is a sovereign political government. It spends money that it raises, unlike Northern Ireland, which gets a block grant. And you have to remember that one of the reasons why the coalition is so unpopular at the moment is, is because of the Republic's incredible dwindling economic performance. And so at a time when there is less tax money to go around, that means that certain programmes uh, are going to come under threat, particularly on the public spending side. Also, there are issues about more taxes that may have to be raised. So all of that does put some sort of additional pressure on the two coalition partners here. That doesn't really reflect what would be happening in Northern Ireland. OK, Shin, uh, and finally, just uh, one party, of course, that stands both sides of the border, Sinn Féin. Uh, what do the polls tell us about uh, their prospects in these elections? Well, the poll suggests that Mary Lou MacDonald in the, Dublin, in the Dublin constituency will have a real fight on her hands to retain her seat, if only because the constituency is moving from four seats to three seats. She says it's between her and Fianna Foyle uh, to, to get that last seat. And I think that's what the polls seem to suggest. And in the other constituency where Sinn Féin have a good chance of taking a seat, we're talking about, about uh, the North and West constituency, well, it suggests that their candidate, their, uh, Mr McLaughlin, will have a real battle on his hands to take a seat. Shane, many thanks.